Food Revolution. I'm Renit. I'm a happiness coach. And I'm Dr. Nellum. I'm a GP. And today we're going to talk about a mechanism that we all have in our body that fixes itself. It's like, did you know that we are fix? We have a fixing mechanism in our body. It's almost like whenever you are not healthy and when your cells are you know generally they die off and yes and yeah if then yeah so basically it's a self-renewal detox process isn't it yeah. that's what you're talking about it's like yes we have it in our body and we need to activate we are able to activate that mechanism so instead of going to the doctor i know we have a doctor here but instead of going to the doctor um you can actually activate this doctor thing inside of you that will so heal it's and called fix it. autophagy and um, and actually Roni I mean if you think about it very few modern humans actually get a chance to activate autophagy that is so true we want you to know that the person who discovered autophagy was a Japanese guy that won a Nobel Prize for this discovery so you understand that us knowing about it was it's actually a recent thing yes and uh it is so big that the guy won a Nobel prize for it so you want to know what he discovered so so autophagy it, it basically it's a it means self-eating that's what it actually literally translates into so it, it sounds a little bit scary but actually what happens is that um after predominantly after fasting so it's usually after about 17 hours of fasting when the body doesn't have um, fuel so it's you, the fuel that we usually use is glucose but after fasting for like 17 to 24 hours our body runs out of glucose stored glucose which is the energy that we usually use so then the body has to look for alternative fuel sources and and that and not just fuel sources but also building blocks okay so what the body the cells are they so amazing our body okay the what the cells do is they activate this process called autophagy which basically looks at the cells first and looks to see well where can, there's nothing coming in but we still need to be doing stuff. We still need to be building stuff and, and we still need energy to live our lives. How can we get these resources? So it looks in the cell and looks for things like old um, unused proteins, old organelles, virus particles, things like that that are in the cell that the cell considers as junk. And what the what autophagy does is the, it is these these particles or these elements are recycled, and they are um, we build new proteins and new uh, products out of this. So so if you think about this way, we have a recycling uh, machine inside of us. So whenever it sees things that are not useful you know the things that we throw in the garbage like just like in your house uh, you just throw into the garbage things that you don't need this mechanism is able to go to the parts in your body that are not needed yes not needed and say okay let's just recycle them so he takes them and puts them in a different machine that it's a composting machine so he basically takes your rubbish and turns it into a very healthy good um, new protein or organelle or whatever it is that the body needs yeah. yes and also switches um, to burning fat instead of glucose so the fuel is the fat and then the 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 building products are taken from these these um, fat storages yes. that we don't need as well so as we said to you, it has a wonderful mechanism of recognizing things that we don't need in our body. You know, toxin stuff or yes. things that are not healthy. And, uh, or that we can reuse and make something new out of that, right? Because what it's like, like Ronit said, like if let's say you're living in a house and, um, and you know, you collect rubbish. 
but if you are not getting rid of this rubbish if the recycling uh, van the, the, you know kind of people don't come every every week exactly so just imagine you eating okay and you um, take your um, um, packages um, put them in the rubbish bin put them in the rubbish bin you have to take the rubbish bin outside and then you have to have the city council coming and collecting all the rubbish now um, we have in our body a mechanism that does exactly this and it's not that they take the rubbish and put it in this dump things that they throw it and that's it they take the rubbish and make it new products that we can use again and again and again and again how long can we do it forever yeah so as so it starts around 17 hours of fasting and it's like a dimmer switch so the 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 power of the, this autophagy increases till about 72 hours of fasting and then it kind of stabilizes but as soon as you start eating again autophagy switches off so that's why i meant because we i mean most of us don't even fast for 12 hours or eat that's overnight true. so very few uh, humans that live in this day and age actually get an opportunity to to to, to get your autophagy yes and the thing is this just like we said before the body needs energy it needs energy even if you just sit there don't do anything even if you sleep don't do anything right you need energy for all the organs to work and so on now the body takes the energy from a storage if there is a storage in the body it's a it's a reserve storage that says oh if i don't have any food i'm going to use the storage even yes. our fat well that is that is, is a it. storage yes. thing so we have about 16 17 18 hours of glycogen reserves which means whenever you are not eating it'll go over there so if you're worried about oh my god i haven't eaten today don't worry we, we all have carry hours. well we and we all carry six to nine months of fat stores exactly so you know but but also we i think it's really important to discuss the the what the benefits are of autophagy okay. you know because it's not so recycling why is it important because now we have shown for metabolic health it reduces inflammation exactly. it improves metabolic health it it helps with longevity you know kind of living longer because you're getting rid of all this stuff that you don't need it improves the health of the mitochondria because we have talked about mitochondria before exactly. there's a there's a process called mitophagy which is exactly the same it takes these old disused or um mitochondria that don't work well and get rid of them there's also a process called apoptosis which is basically the body gets rid of damaged diseased cells it actually kills these cells off so that they can't replicate and continue to create problems it's really good for things like alzheimer's disease because alzheimer's disease you might know that it's a collection it, what happens is you get a collection of old disused um, protein in in the brain so by by allowing yourself to have periods of autophagy you will cleanse and, and recycle this protein helps with things like cancer because cancer is an overgrowth of cells so with autophagy it will help to um, control control and contain this so and i want you to know that huge. there are people that that's exactly what they do uh if they have a serious illness uh, they go into periods of fasting. Yeah. Um, I've, I've just heard, doc, um, I love Dr. Berg, and uh, uh, lately someone interviewed him and he said, well, what would you do if you had cancer? And he said, I would fast. fast. I would fast. That's Absolutely. the first thing he said. The first thing I would do is fast. And why? Because we have damaged stuff in our body. We have things that are, we accumulate throughout the day. If we don't sleep enough, we cannot get rid of it properly. And if we're ill, it's because there are things in our body that needs to come out. Yes. And autophagy is a mechanism that doesn't make it go out. It basically takes it, makes it wonderful, wonderful food for and the body. And building blocks. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, and, and, and I think, you know, the fact that we aren't giving ourselves the opportunity means that 
uh, that we're not getting rid of this stuff exactly. or we're not clearing it out so no wonder our cells can't work properly so think about it as like all the bad things that we don't need think of it as poop yeah okay really think of it as, as poop and we are not getting this poop out of the body in regular ways that we are promoting and so on there is a mechanism in the body that takes the poop and turns it to the the building blocks of the body yes it's like making a good thing out of the poop I, did yeah. you see the movie the martian no <laughs> and in the movie the martian um he was he was on mars and left alone and had nothing to do and he he wanted to grow food so that's what he did he actually took his poop, poop and and and, oh. and and grew food on top of it yeah, as the well, soil yeah, yeah, to do it so it actually actually did the autophagy yes, thing yes uh so look autophagy is something really really wonderful uh you only get to autophagy when you are reaching the 16 so uh, that you yeah, have about hours, 18 hours yes, of fasting of fasting um and ideally you would want to give yourself a little bit longer to be in autophagy so it's not enough just to get to the 18 hours ideally you'd want to have that 24 36 hours if you can and slowly uh, build yes. to it you know we highly recommend slowly build to it so if you're fasting up to about 17 18 hours then you are doing a very good thing for your body you're giving it a bit of a rest uh not accumulating a lot of stuff it's not a lot of hard work cuz the hardest work that we do is actually digest yes absolutely so, but beyond 18 hours this is when magic starts yeah, to happen absolutely. and the longer you wait the more of that magic happens so it's uh so, make yourself yeah. a goal so um now at whole food revolution we have we have created this 6 week self guided course to get you is, to autophagy to get you to autophagy and beyond and beyond actually yes. it, it is and beyond yes, yes. and uh, it's called learn how to fast right um and and maybe that's a point that we would like to emphasize okay um fasting rice and fasting wrong <laughs> is a big thing there's Now, a big difference is a big difference so some people say oh, i'm going to just stop eating no that's not the idea the idea <coughs> is to fast in a way that the, your body does not get into a panic mode now if everyone who's watching us now says oh i want to fast uh tomorrow i'm going to fast 24 hours uh, that's a bad mistake yeah and particularly for postmenopausal women there there is a structure there is a a, a guided process yes. you do need to prepare your to body be able to fast yes right. you need to prepare your body to fast right now what is the difference between fasting right and fasting wrong is uh the experience itself now if you're going to fast wrong and just say okay I'll just go stop eating for 18 hours or 24 hours or 36 whatever your body if not prepared for it will get into a panic mode now panic means you will have cravings you'll be edgy you'll be angry you will experience things that are very very similar to withdrawal symptoms yeah of of drugs now this is not good and i want to tell you why because If you're doing fasting and your cortisol level are high because you're stressed autophagy is not going to happen and the reason why is because <laughs> if as if your insulin levels are high and high levels of cortisol causes high levels of insulin so you happening. cannot access your fat stores so therefore you cannot actually successfully fast exactly so yes. so again you may be able to tick a box and say yep did it 24 hours but in your body it created a chaos instead of the healing process yeah so we highly recommend you to uh get yourself ready 
for that for fast. fasting. That's why we 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 doing this programs for several years, and we wrote a program that helps people go to it gradually. And it's very comprehensive and prepare the body to to get to that stage. So I'm saying it again: if you are fasting and your body is not ready for fasting, you are doing more damage than good. Yeah. Why? Because you're going to go through a, withdrawal, a stress reaction. Exactly. Mm. Redraw symptoms and stress that are going to do exactly the opposite of what you want. You want the body to clear things. You want the body to access the fat storages. And as Nellam just said to you, cortisol high, insulin high, you cannot access your fat stores. Exactly. So we'll put the link to the fasting course um, in the notes. So hopefully you enjoy it and you enjoyed this, um, this little talk. Thank you, bye-bye.